Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike Verspril. Today I'm going to explain to you about how I built my motorized slow zoom machine for the Nikon D800 and the 14 to 24 millimeter lens. Now I did this so I could create the vortex, spiral star trail effect, whatever you want to call it. You could also use this device to zoom in while doing a time lapse so it has other purposes other than just star trails. I know some of you are going to say this is a waste of time because you can now pull off that same effect with LR time lapse or Adobe After Effects and I'm well aware of those alternative methods. When I built this machine nobody even knew about those other techniques yet. Hopefully I will have a tutorial for you guys on the LR time lapse method as well in the near future. So let's get into it. Most of the parts will be listed on this video description and unfortunately I don't remember each gear size I used. However there should be plenty of info here to get you pointed in the right direction. To create this machine, you will need a motor, power supply, gears, a frame, and a control box. This is where servocity.com came in real handy, and I was able to get most of what you see from them. The only items they did not have is the Red Rock Micro Lens gear that goes around the lens, and a motion control box like Dynamic Perceptions, MX2, or MX3. That you have to get from Amazon or some other place. I also had a challenging time attaching everything into place until I purchased a Sunway photo rail which gave me the space and the attachment point I need for the aluminum channels. I attached a 12 inch aluminum channel to the bottom of the Sunway photo rail. Then I attached a 9 inch aluminum channel vertically to the 12 inch to hold the motor and gears. Once you have the gear on the camera lined up with the gear on your rail, all you need to do is power and control the motor. This is where trial and error comes into play. To get decent vortex star trails, I recommend you shoot for about 2 to 3 hours. You want the lens to zoom in from 14 millimeters to 24 millimeters over this long duration of time. To achieve this, you need to use a motion control box like Dynamic Perceptions MX3. Basically, you want your camera to take an exposure, then the motor moves a fraction of an inch before the next exposure is taken. Do a test run before going out at night and wasting three hours if it doesn't work correctly. You also want to shoot at the North Star in the unobstructed area that has very little light pollution for the best results. After you capture your images, the next thing to do is process them. Hey, what's up guys? This is part two of the slow zoom star trail effect. I just want to show you what to do with the images real quick. Basically, once you get them onto your computer, like I have here, this is at 14 millimeters wide, aimed at the North Star. And the last picture is at 24 millimeters, zoomed in. Now, you're going to take them and you're going to bring them into a stacking software, something like Star Stacks. Once you have your images, um, you just drop them in, like so. Now, the best way I found to process these images is using Comet Mode, Long Trails, and then that's it. Hit Submit. Now, I'm not going to let you sit here through this whole thing but I'll show you what it looks like. Should get that. And then the second option is putting in reverse and it looks very similar just spinning a different direction now. So yeah, and then you would take this and you would take uh, the foreground picture and you would blend the two. So you would get an image similar to this. There you have it. I'm not going to go into detail of how to edit all this. Um, I'll do it in a different video. It takes several hours. Um, but this is just a basic, basic idea of what you can do with this technique. Alright, I hope this tutorial helps. Take care.